Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? <laughs> Sonic Man Empire. Yeah, right. What the heck's going on here? Don't oh, worry, no. Mr. President. What did Everything's you do? under control. Just leave it to us. Got it, Tails? I got it! He's transmitting from the space colony R. Okay, let's move it! Wait up, Sonic! Hey, you wait! Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. But you saw them too, right? Well, yeah. We should be able to get into outer space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that cannon and then kick their Imperial butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. The amount of fucks that, that secretary gave was truly astonishing. Hey everybody, it's King Koopas here and welcome to Sonic Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. In the last part we got through with Route 101 and I actually had to replay because my game didn't save. And in this part we're gonna continue on with uh well, whatever this level was called, I don't even remember. Now this level is gonna introduce us well not introduce us, but you know, returning to the dynamite packs. And something you're gonna wanna keep in mind if you're going for an A rank this level. Be very careful with the dynamite packs because a lot of your points are going to come from these dynamite packs. As you can see, I got nine lock on, so I'm going to get massive amounts of points. Despite the fact I don't think the dynamite packs really give you many points, if any, to begin with. So, so there we go. So yeah, this level is uh, pretty, pretty basic. We're just in the middle of an effing. So, like, seriously, again, how is it that no one can figure out Eggman's here? I mean, this giant pyramid is it not like inconspicuous? I don't really, I don't know, I wouldn't really call a giant pyramid inconspicuous. But anyway, before doing anything, you want to jump down over here, jump on this, and there's the golden beetle for love. I actually found out about that recently, so a pretty useful tip. You shouldn't really need it though, there's a lot of chances to rack up combos in this level. Now, for this level, just wait here, as you can see, an enemy can drop down. That one may get you a few times. That's one of the few times where I'll admit that the enemy placement in this game is evil. Because, yeah, like I said, I think the, um, I think enemy placement and whatnot are greatly exaggerated in this game. Or by, uh, critics of this game, so, yeah. Then again, it may just be my inner fan, but who knows. You don't know these things, really. Anyway, going up here, we're going to be introduced to a new enemy. We got Coconuts. Remember, these are, like, the, um, the enemies that bring bombs at you from Sonic 2. Now, Eggman's robots here, if you remember, use, um small animals as you can see here they drop small animals I think each stage has like a different theme like I think for this level they'll be mostly dropping water animals so be sure to keep that in mind I guess now that we're actually getting into animals a little more I guess I should also go into um, the, the uh, different attributes of animals would you as you notice when we're picking up items here as I'm trying to there we go as you can see there's a border around them that border around items will tell you like what stat or rage for the race for the chow um yellow is swimming purple is flying green is running and and red is power so as you can see that like that cheetah had the uh, red outline behind it so that will raise our chow's power stat however animals also have an interesting effect on chow because um uh chaos drives which we've been getting from the gun robots 
they raise stats, but they just do that. They just raise one stat. Animals can raise multiple stats, but they can also lower the values of certain stats. Like, for example, um, like a getting a, giving your child a peacock, for example, will cause it to um, actually lose some, some stats in the power. Because peacocks aren't exactly strong animals, so kind of nice like that. I believe something I want to show off here is actually the future that I have to remember for later on. If we go over here, there's a, there's a rare animal called the, um, the half fish, I believe is what it's called. You're going to want to remember where that is because if you're going for an optional part of the game here, it's not required for 100%, but if you're going to go for it, like I may attempt to, it's going to be very useful to remember where that animal is because it's a rare animal. Like there's, That's actually the only one that I know of off the top of my head, so... I know there's more, I just don't know where. And as you probably know, we're seeing these mystic, these, um, uh, these, like, these weird statues. Something I don't know. So yeah, uh, uh, something I probably should have said also, keep note of these, um, of those shrines that you're seeing. They're gonna become very important later on, and you're gonna need to, if you're going for 100%, you're gonna need to know where they all are. Why am I, oh god, the frames, they hurt. Makes me wish I could use MSI Afterburner, but I can't. Oh, Nelly. The slowdown is Sonic 06 all over again. Okay. Give us a sec. Okay, it's good, it's good. Sorry, it was just, you may, like I said, you may have not even noticed that I'm recording. I'm gonna actually check that out in playback if you guys really notice these frame drops. But that was noticeable for me if the game was going into super slim. I am back to normal. I don't know, it's just some areas in this game that Fraps just seem to like. That or he doesn't like my computer. One or the other. Don't care. Don't care. As long as I'm not dipping below 30, I, I, I can play the game, so. Yeah. Even though it pains me to not have a constant 60. Come on, and here we go. We're at the end of the level. Not too bad of a level. Be sure to get the last few enemies here, and we're done. I did it! And we did it! Hooray! Let's see if that was an A rank. Probably not. Actually, I think it may have been. Yep, a rank, cool. So I, take, I guess I have to eat my words about needing the golden beetle because I wouldn't have gotten the golden beetle if I didn't get, or I wouldn't have gotten a rank if I didn't get the golden beetle. So I guess I'm eating my own words here today. That's all right. I'm used to that by now. You know, these frame drops probably are just because of uh, me not rebooting my computer. So, but anyway, um, Secret, Secret Base or whatever the hell this level is called. This is Sonic Stage. Now, this level is very difficult to get an A rank in because to, to get points, you've got to go through these hoops, and that doesn't sound too bad, but to do but you gotta do it in a sense, like, you gotta go through the hoops, but you also gotta do it in a fast manner. It's really hard to explain. Am I just... Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. And this music's awesome. I love the uh, music for this level. Because if you go on the wall here, as you can see, if we go through these, we get tons of points going through those things. So if you want to get an A rank, you're gonna have to go through as many of those as you can. Alright, let's go through here. Uh, and this also introduces us to the concept of the hour. Okay, like speed dash, whatever you say, bro. It's going to introduce us to the concept of the hourglasses. Uh, as you can see, there are closed doors in this level. If we hit the hourglass, it opens the doors temporarily. And as soon as the hourglass turns out, the door is closed, and we have to go hit the hourglass again. So you're timed in those regards. But anyway, going over here, we got replicas of E102 Gamma. And we got a very useful power-up, the Bounce Bracelet. When we're in the air, we simply need to press the B button and perform the Bounce Attack. The Bounce Attack is very useful because, let's say we home attack this, we can bounce and almost kill myself. But basically, bouncing won't break the won't break the combo, so... And I don't hit that yet, by the way. Like, so let's say you home attack something, but there's nothing in sight. You can essentially just keep bouncing until you find another enemy, and it'll keep the combo going. So, those are very useful. And this is um another kind of level. This is a key. Just pick it up. You don't need to throw, but I'm going to throw it. And it'll just go inside the hole. Roll under this. And we got a shield. And look carefully to the right. You'll be able to see Big over in the fence over there. See him? Probably not. Okay. Okay. Light speed dash. Work. Work for me, bro. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I just stopped the recording temporarily and restarted it. I'm trying to see if that'll help fix the frame drops, because it's really... I'm really tanking frames right now, and it's hard to ignore them. 
less, I, more or less, I just don't want the quality to be bad for you. Now, these guys are in really asshole locations. Like, I just honestly think it's better just to abuse them. Never mind, you get the, there we go, you get the F.U. treatment. How about that? There we go. Alright, so now we gotta take the key. Find the key, find the key, find the beautiful key, find the key, find the key, and now we're gonna throw it at this robot. <laughs> I don't know why, I find that way more... Game? That's one prop... That's one problem I do have with this game. Every... Okay, collect all the rings. Everything, like all the main actions, like picking up objects, let's be dash, it's all binded to the um to the B button. So that will happen where sometimes you try to do one thing and the game will do another. Okay, now for this part, I wouldn't worry too much about going through the rings. Uh, just let this guy go first of all. Like these. Oh, Mo Chow, you bastard! Did I say do that? Anyway, what you're gonna want to do what you're gonna do here is just go through this one and then just. Spin dash the end because you go much faster downhill at the spin dash than you do running. So you go. Oh, come on. Oh, by the way, you're on the clock. And that was asshole. It's almost how I actually hit the hourglass and I didn't want to do it. As you can see, you go much, much faster. Jump. And we're good. It looks like restarting the recording that actually helped with my frame drops. So that's good. Very, very good. Go this way. And I think we're at the end of the level. This level really isn't too bad. I actually didn't show where the... Oh, no, I'm not near the end. Wait, are we? I don't think we are. No, we're not. Okay. I was going to say, we haven't even seen the golden beetle yet. Okay, what you're going to want to do is hold down the A button when you hit that spring and the golden beetle is right there. I missed it, though, because I'm a scrub. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you're trying to split me up game, are you? But, yeah, if you want to get the A rank in this level, you pretty much need the golden beetle, so I'm not getting my A rank, so screw me. And when you get to this part, just hold down spin dash. Get used to spin dashing in this level because spin dashing is indefinitely useful in this level just because of how. Yeah. By the way, just so you know, I think the A rank um, um, points for this is 15,000. So, yeah, this is one of those levels where you actually have to go at a decent pace to get the number of points that you're going to need to add up to your time bonus. So, I like the little random thing that's going on there in the background. Yeah, see, not quite an A rank, B. Too easy. Piece oh well. <laughs> Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. And here we go, stage 12, Death Chamber. Oh boy, for any of you who played the game, you know where it's at. Death Chamber is one of the hardest um, treasure hunting stages in the game, but before you do anything, go over here and grab the hammer gloves. This will increase your punching attack power and will allow you to break through iron crates. And trust me, you're gonna need that. Now, the reason why- Now, this level is really, really obnoxious just because navigating it can be really annoying. Because, um, you have to, like, dig through walls in a certain area, and this level is ginormous, as you can see by the- Now, after you see, for these areas, you gotta dig through them. I'm just gonna keep looking for for the uh, for the signal for the emerald, and of course I'm gonna be stubborn and try and do it without hints because I'm stubborn. And this level, once you figure out the layout, isn't that bad. The problem is figuring out the layout. I had to believe going through here would just lead to a dead end. Yeah, I always do that. This, ugh, this once you figure out the layout, this level isn't that bad. By the way, this song is hilarious. If you like remove the lyrics of this song, I think so. It's, it's like the best porno music you'll ever find. I'm gonna go up here because I don't remember the layout of everything. The shield up there though. Yeah, this level is really just luck though. Like if you're if you're gonna get the A rank. Like it really just depends. You gotta get lucky emerald locations. And that's one of the things I don't like about a lot of these um stages. Is uh, the treasure hunting stages because how good of a rank you get can really just be dependent on emerald locations. Like like one time, like I said, I got I did this level in like under two minutes. I was actually going for something else in the level, but I did it in like two minutes just out of pure luck. And as you can see, I made a complete circle, so that was a waste of time. And we're already three minutes in, we haven't even gotten a signal yet, see what I mean? However, thankfully, I can 
Wait, was that? Was there a key up there? I could have I just saw a key. Okay. Did I see something? Yeah, yeah a key! Look at that! I got lucky. And see what does it mean? Sometimes you just, you just get lucky. Now, where was it? It was just here. Oh, where would it go? There we go. Thankfully, once you get a key, it resets the timer. So even... So, yeah. But like, but like I said, that was the, uh, like, either the second or the last. That was the uh, last key for the level, so... I got luckier. Like I said, these levels are a lot of luck, so don't be discouraged if you don't get a rank on the first try. For one level, you quite literally just have to keep resetting on the level until you get hints. Because the level is so big, it's impossible to find all the emeralds without hints. So quite literally, you have to just keep re resetting the level until you eventually get to the point where you can um, figure out where the emeralds are by the hints that they give you. And let me tell you, by the way, I believe the golden beetle is actually this way, or not, I'm forgetting. It's over here? Is this one was the golden beetle was here somewhere? I guess it's through here, it's really safe for me. Oh, I see, okay. Okay, as you can see, we've been running around for two minutes and I still don't even have a signal. This is what I mean by this level. I actually have no idea. Usually there's one in the green, blue, oh, long last, got a signal. And it looks like I was, so it looks like it's somewhere down here in the main area. Like this is kind of the central area, the generator area, so here, pay close attention to this area. I have a feeling it's going to be up here somewhere. It's closer. Am I right? Uh, somewhere here? Oh, there it is. Okay, come on, just flash this. Awesome. Yeah, you're not gonna get too many perfects in this level, so I wouldn't, you know, worry too much about Okay, one more key left. Generally, the strategy that I like to do for this level is, um, just go to, um, each of the rooms. Like, just keep running circles until you go to each of the colored rooms, and eventually you'll get a signal because just to have the levels laid out. So, but yeah. Ugh, enough ranting about this level. Jesus, I don't like this level, like I said. It's all luck. But still, I still don't understand how these how this key thing works. I mean, for one, for one thing, I guess I shouldn't have said that's kind of spoilers, so... I still do wonder, why would Eggman do what he did here and just hide his keys, like, in the ground and whatnot, in locations where even he couldn't get to them? And I wonder, if you don't get the, um, upgrade, what's gonna happen? If you get, like, stuck in that room? That'd be kinda humorous. Actually, you know what? That'd be annoying. That'd be poor gameplay design. Alright. So, I have a hunch. I have a dream. Oh, no, I have a hunch. That it's gonna be somewhere in the blue room. And I love this song, by the way. I don't think you can... I, don't, I think they removed, like, the explicit lyrics. But that had, like, one of the... song had, like, one of the best lines in the game. It's like... You're damn right, Knuckles. That was like one of the best lines in the game. Yep, I had, see, I had a hunch. It was gonna be over here in the blue room. The problem is figuring out where in this blue room, because it can be in so many different locations. I have a feeling this one's gonna be buried. What's actually funny is that there was actually a map I found a while ago that had like the locations of all the emer uh, emeralds for this level. Ow! That's not supposed to happen. Okay, it's up here somewhere, I think. Okay, over here. Come on, where is it? Okay, it must be up here. Up here? Hello? Anything? Okay, guess not. This this uh, level can also get annoying when you're going up here because the camera likes to not work with you, so... Here we go, right here. Uh, right here? Um... Right here? There we go! Alrighty, so on that really annoying note, I think we're going to end it off here. In the next part, we're going to continue on and fight a boss because the boss is actually coming up. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Yeah, I feel good. I feel good too, my friend. My friend!